Hey friends, have you seen Charles Dickens' The Christmas Carol? Uh, early on in the story, Ebenezer Scrooge has a haunting vision of his late business partner, Jacob Marley. Uh, Marley appears all shackled and wrapped in chains. And over the years, we discover that he had been unconsciously creating his own shackles through his very selfishness. I don't know about you, but I can relate to the self-serving, self-promoting, self-protecting choices. And maybe you can relate. And that just creates our own oppression, our own chains. So selfishness, along with our own fears and our insecurities, become drivers for our choices. And yet good news of great joy, friends and people of FBC, Jesus comes at Christmas to release, to break those chains. His arrival opens the wide open door to find freedom. Yes, freedom. Jesus offers to unburden us from the press of guilt and shame. And so let me tell you about one story. In 1744, Charles Wesley, the brother of John Wesley, the founder of the Methodist movement. Charles Wesley was a, a prolific hymn writer. And, and he was so burdened by people not adopting or fostering orphans. Okay, so he had that burden. And he also he was meditating on two Old Testament verses, Haggai chapter 2, verse 6 and 7, which says this. This is what the Lord Almighty says. In a little while, I will once more shake the heavens and the earth, the sea, and the dry land. I will shake all nations, and what is desired by all nations will come. And I will fill this house with glory, says the Lord Almighty. Hmm. These verses led him to, to write out a prayer, a desperate plea for him and for other Christians. Uh, the prayer then became a song soon thereafter called Come, Thou Long Expected Jesus. I chose this as the first song in our Advent video uh, devotional, The Songs of Christmas, because a number of hymnals choose this carol as number one. Uh, the first hymn that churches sing during the season of Advent. Uh, Wesley him notes many things about Jesus. Reflect on it as you listen to the lyrics. Like Jesus is our true desire, our true joy, our true strength. Jesus is meant to rule and dwell in our hearts until that moment we join him by the throne of heaven. We also see Wesley describing Jesus' birth as it truly was a rescue machine. Christ comes not merely to inspire, but to liberate a people stuck in guilt, in shame, in their own oppression, and even in the oppression of others. Yes, the people of Israel at the time of Jesus' birth hoped for political freedom, an escape from the rule of Rome. But Jesus didn't meet that specific expectation. So he had doubts about, is he really the Messiah? Jesus' aim in coming at Christmas was much bigger than one definition of freedom for one group of people. He doesn't come to shuffle the, the political scenarios for one party's preferences. The scope of his glorious redemptive work is infinite wider. He comes to free us from our hearts and from our sins and our selfishness. Praise God that Jesus is the answer to every longing of the human heart. And so this carol, this hymn, raises up the question, what are you longing? What are you waiting for? What are you burdened for? What have you been intensely praying about as of late? Of course, we live in different times than Charles Wesley, but our longings are just as real. And this is why Charles 
Wesley prayer begins with come. Whether we come or we don't come, whether we choose to believe or not, this carol is inviting you. Personalize this. This is inviting you and all people to take your burden, to take your longing to Jesus. Come to him. So whatever burdens, longings you're thinking of, come to Jesus. Not only cast it upon Jesus, but allow Jesus to satisfy and refresh you. Oh, I want to give you permission to personalize Wesley's prayer. But what's burdening you? Let's pray. Father, good, good Father, we thank you that in this Advent season, for your ultimate gift to us in Jesus the King. As we pray from Charles Wesley's prayer 300 years ago, almost 300 years ago, says, born your people to deliver, born a child and yet a king, born to reign in us forever. Now your gracious kingdom, kingdom bring. By your own eternal spirit, rule in all our hearts alone. By your all-sufficient merit, raise to your glorious throne. Amen.